Hi everyone, Jason here from eGolf Megastore. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ping G400 driver. I'm really excited about uh, giving this a hit and, and testing it out. There's been quite a, quite a bit of hype about this golf club. There have been quite a few uh, really positive reviews about this from independent testers. So I'm really interested at seeing how it performs. Along with that, as, as I was reading the technology about this club and uh, reading up on it, it was pretty evident to me what they've tried to achieve with this golf club. They wanted higher ball speeds. That is going to come from better aerodynamics. As well as that, they've really, really wanted forgiveness. So they've changed a couple of things in the way they've done this from the previous G models. Um, and I think from hearing from those uh, reviewers, it's pretty good. So let's get into a little bit more detail about what technology changes have taken place. The first major change in this golf club is the forged face. So it's a hotter and thinner face than they're using a unique process and heating uh, process to do that. And what that does is it's improving the flexion throughout the face. In other words, when it uh, collides with a golf ball, whether it's out of the heel or the toe, uh, it'll just improve the way the, the face flexes at impact, increasing ball speeds throughout the face. So coupled with that and the aerodynamic changes, they're saying it's improving ball speed quite dramatically. I'm looking forward to putting that one to the test. So it also, because of this forged face, is really instrumental to the feel and sound of the golf club. And, and having hit this a little bit before, um, I know that it definitely sounds different to the predecessor. The other important area, uh, and it's something we've seen uh, over the last few drivers from Ping, is how they're using aerodynamics to their advantage, or how they're using the aerodynamics of the golf club to improve the golf club. This has got substantially less drag. Um, I think the numbers are about 40% um, on the downswing, and then overall it's about 15% less drag, so improved club head speed. We're seeing the turbulators, which we've previously, uh, the previous models, the G30 and the, and the G series have got, but these are a little bit more prominent. As well as that, we look at the Dragonfly technology and a little bit of a change in the, the sole of the golf club, as well as the, the heel section. That's visually as I look at it. So aerodynamically, this is a club that's really about moving faster. The third change and last change that I can see is the tungsten weight in the back. Ping is saying this is a combined MOI of over 9,000. Now I've been in the golf industry for a fairly long time and I remember when the Nike and the Callaway drivers came out with the square drivers and I remember seeing the, the Nike square driver saying that their MOI was like five, five and a half thousand MOI which was really high at the time, pretty much higher than anything else we had. Now we've got a driver coming out at a combined MOI of over 9,000. That's pretty impressive to look at the gains over uh, such a period of time. So what that is is a tungsten weight uh, right at the back of the golf club. Um, with forgiveness and weight, what what to try and do is try and move the center of gravity as far back from the face as possible. And that really helps with the stability of the golf club on off-centered hits. As well as that, it's going to help with launch. Ping is saying this is the deepest CG location in golf. So this is a golf club with all this technology is really about gaining club head speed, gaining ball speed, and increasing and improving on the forgiveness that the G drivers already had. So it's time to put all those claims to the test. Let me go ahead and hit it. One of the things I didn't mention and as I'm looking at it now, it's quite, quite evident. The, the shape and size of the golf club is more streamlined and it's a little bit smaller than its predecessor. So the uh, cubic capacity is a little bit smaller than before and you can see that behind the ball. I actually really like the shape of it. Also really helping with the, the aerodynamics. So let's put that to the test. Okay, so that was the first uh, hit, and um, not bad, I mean, I haven't warmed up or anything, and actually club head speed for me is reasonably good, out at about 105 um, miles an hour club head speed, so it's not bad. That's certainly um, going to be something that we'll look at here, because that's one of the claims that they're making. Ball speed was pretty good, not too bad for my first hit. Um, I really like the feel, certainly the, that new um, face just is an improvement on feel for me. Oh, 
Okay, so that was probably a little faster in speed. The ball speed has jumped. I hit that on pretty well. Did pull it a fraction. Um, I've given myself a pretty hard hole here. Uh, picked the famous 18th hole at Pebble Beach. So clubhead speed was a little bit higher. Ball speed was a little bit better. So uh, certainly um, can see there are gains here. I really like the noise over the previous G uh, driver. I really like the noise in the, uh, and also the feel. It feels much better off the face. Okay, that was a poor swing. Caught that one out of the heel, so it spun up a little bit on me. Um, but reasonably good ball speeds. Even though I've mishit that, I've got some pretty good ball speeds out of that. As I'm warming up, the club head speed is just improving a little bit. So now I'm probably at around about where I would normally be. I'm going to hit just two more. Okay, so that was a much better uh, swing. So results were a little bit better on that one. Um, ball speed again, very similar. So one thing I'm noticing, even uh, on the slight miss hits, uh, as I'm swinging it, the ball speed is maintaining pretty good ball speeds throughout. So that's certainly something that we're seeing. So both from the face technology and that weight at the back, definitely seeing forgiveness in terms of maintaining high ball speeds. I've miss hit a couple there um, and haven't really lost any major distance. I'm going to hit one more hit. Okay, I saved that one a little bit. That was going right and just saved a little bit. So not bad. Got it out of the toe just a fraction and still ball speeds are higher. Club head speed was definitely higher on that one. I could feel it moving a bit quicker. Um, so I got my best club head speed of the day. So just as I look at that and as I've uh, hit those things, um, putting them to the test, there's quite a few things that I really like about this driver and I think are an improvement. Now please bear in mind as you're watching uh, the video, these are my opinions on the club and, and I've already put these and tested them in players' hands so I'll give you some of that now. I like the look of the club, I like the sound of the club, I like the feel of the club and I'm certainly getting pretty good results. I'm using the stock standard shaft so I was spinning the driver up a little bit as well as the fact that I'm using a 10.5 degree here so I am spinning it a little bit more than I would normally so my distance isn't as far as I would normally do it but there's definitely uh, because of slightly um, higher lofts and things so there's quite a lot of positive things that I'm seeing I really like the shape as well I've already put this in quite a lot of people's hands in terms of custom fitting wise. It comes in three different options as well. You've got the standard, you've got the SF Tech, um, and then you've also got the LS Tech. The LS Tech is just going to bring down the spin a little bit more. The SF Tech is going to be the straight flight where that weight is just moved a little bit more to the heel. That's a fantastic driver for people that are slicing the ball. I've really seen good results. All in all, as I'm looking at this, I think this is a good improvement on the predecessor. Uh, I really like the feel, as I said, I like the, uh, the, the shape of it a little bit more, and certainly the sound and feel are a bit better. So saying all of that, uh, please uh, let me know your thoughts. If you want to leave any comments uh, below, please go ahead. That we'd, we'd like to start some interaction with you guys, see what you guys think, maybe get your opinions on the driver yourself. Um, and also go ahead and uh, just interact with us in terms of um, what you'd like to see, if there's anything else uh, you want us to test and uh, go ahead and explain. Thanks for watching. Take care.